Hey guys, welcome to Mayfield Family Farm. Doing a new video today that is exclusively about vermicomposting or composting using worms. Um, maybe a lot of you guys for your gardens have gone to the store and bought worm castings and you've seen how expensive those are just for a single bag. And many times those the, the castings are so old that some of the, the bacteria in it is no longer alive. And the power of doing your own vermicomposting is that you get to use the nutrients and microbes and bacteria that's still alive that's healthy and beneficial for your garden and so today I'm going to be showing you two, uh, the worm towers that we use if you go onto our um, website which is mayfieldfamily.farm onto the store page we have sold these there for a few years and uh, they work incredibly well they have different heights as you can see and you, different layers that you can add uh, and each level gives you the ability to have one area that's kind of a staging area for your worms to live and then another area where you're putting all of your uh, vegetable scraps and the worms can go up there eat them and then go back down and then what's powerful is the bottom of these buckets a lot of the uh, what we call compost tea drips through it's all the moisture that's left over from the uh, the worms and the, the castings and the food that you're putting in and as it drips down here it is a powerful powerful uh, fertilizer for your plants and what's powerful about it is whether you do it as a foliar spray and spray it onto your plants or pour it into the ground for your plants it protects them. It has a, a major biodiversity of bacteria, healthy bacteria and healthy uh, microbes that protect and inoculate your plants from diseases and, and even some pests. Uh, there's been a lot of studies and a lot of research done by universities that have shown that uh, vermicomposting and, and compost uh, worm tea is some of the best fertilizers on the planet, better than anything man-made or even uh, that, that exists out in nature as well. Uh, just a powerful, powerful tool in your garden. So. I'm going to show you here in a couple seconds how these systems work. We have another one that's broken apart that's not all set up because these currently have worms in them. So I'll show you what these look like and then show you what the kit looks like that is uh, brand new. And then um, either on this video or a second video, we're excited. We're going to be building a completely new uh, worm composter, a vermicompost that we're using a 55 gallon barrel and we're going to be cutting it in half and having basically a six foot long trough to be able to worm farm, to be able to get lots of uh, farm, uh, worm castings and lots of uh, compost tea for our garden and for our, uh, for our farm. What's powerful about this, and, and you'll see in some of the data sheets that we have that will be down in the links below and also on our website about worms, is when you make the compost tea out of uh, the worm castings, about five gallons is enough to spread over an entire acre if you're spraying it uh, foliarly. And it's that powerful that it'll go that far, but what's also really neat about it is you could take that same five gallons and pour it all into one plant and you're not going to get the burn that you would with using a normal fertilizer. So it's powerful that it can go a long ways, but it also will never burn a single plant. So uh, that's why it's really the one of the best farmers and, and uh, backyard gardeners uh, tools that we have for fertilizer. So stay tuned for the rest of the demonstration of these and then uh, we're going to do a build out on the new uh, vermicomposter. All right, so I wanted to show you how these look on the inside. Um, so basically, and I'll, I'll, dem I'll do a demonstration here in a second with an empty one to show you exactly how the buckets are, uh, are created or made. But inside, I typically just take like an old, um, some cardboard paper from a cereal box or something like that and just put it over it and that basically helps the worms still feel like they're underground when they are feeding and so whenever you put food scraps in here you just pull this out and then throw your food scraps here or even under it this is just uh, shredded paper um, i don't personally have a shredder but i find friends who do have uh, paper shredders and just ask them for their leftovers uh, that they're going to throw in the trash and then i put them in here and then i would just wet it down to where they're just a little damp and then again, this uh, cardboard paper just goes over that. But whenever I'm putting food in here, I'll just pull this back, throw in food. You can see right now I have some, uh, this is some tea bags and coffee bags, coffee grounds. And then uh, under here then is where all the worms are. So let me pull out some right here. So you can see all the worms in here. Um, you know, there's three or four. This plastic is from the envelopes, uh, envelope windows. And so whenever I get ready to put this into the garden, I just pull all these out. Yeah, you can see all the worms in there. Typically for every pound of worms, there's about a thousand worms. And worms will double every three months. So say you had a pound of worms in three months, you'll have uh, 2,000. So that's what the inside of these look like. 
And like I said here in just a second, I will demonstrate what the actual compartments or components of the worm tower are made up of. I also want to show you really quick the compost tea that drips through all the way through the bottom. So I'll show you each of these layers really quick. So you already saw what's in here. This is just the next bottom layer that doesn't have much in it right now. And then down here, and I'll talk about each of these components here in a second, but you can see the liquid down here. And to be realistic, this liquid has been here for at least since last uh, growing season. So it's been here for over a year. And if you were to stick your head in here, and I already have, and smell this, it's not rotten, it's not putrid, it doesn't stink, it actually smells just like the most pure and amazing garden soil. It just smells good. And that is the power of this. In If I was to have water sitting anywhere, even clean water sitting for a year, it's going to start to stink after a while. It's going to start to grow bad bacteria. And what makes these systems so powerful is the worms as they travel through they're creating a lot of air pockets so this is an uh, basically an uh, aerated type of compost and that's what makes this not stink as a matter of fact if your compost your vermin composter ever begins stinking it's because there's not any air getting to it and you're going to see here in a minute as i talk about how these are built why they just absolutely work because of the air exchange that is in them. So a few years ago, uh, I was doing some classes with uh, Justin Rohner with agriscaping.com out in Arizona. And uh, I had built these and I had showed, it, showed him the, uh, the worm towers that I built and he loved them. He thought they were great. And he was doing some tours of his uh, backyard that was all fully agriscaped and he said hey would you be willing to come and do a you know 15 20 minute class on vermicomposting and show uh, your systems and how they work and so I did and at the time I just had one I'd never thought about building these at the time and uh, I was just doing a class to teach what is vermicomposting how it works why it's so beneficial for our gardens and I was really just showing people how to build them and by the end of the, the class I had a few people raising their hands and they said how much do these cost and when can I get one? You know, how can I order one? And so that sort of became the, uh, the start of building these worm towers uh, for people. And so we, we still build them where they're still available. Uh, and especially if you're local, it's really easy for picking up. And, but regardless, it was just a cool opportunity to see the need. Even though I was showing people how to make them, I realized that even though they're simple to make, not everyone has the time or the experience or the tools to do it. And uh, so I love, uh, putting these together and building them for you. But I wanna show you how exactly they work. And so I'll walk you through this. And again, this came through a lot of trial and error because what I realized is, again, that air exchange is so vital for these to be aerated. And again, if they don't have enough air exchange happening, they will quickly become anaerobic, which starts to grow the bad bacteria. And that is where we smell rot. When you smell uh, anything that is rotting, it's because it's becoming anaerobic. And so to keep these systems aerobic, which means there's a lot of air exchange happening, that is what allows them to stay healthy. It allows the good bacteria that it's good for our plants, it helps inoculate them against disease, uh, allows that to grow and ex really explode in these systems. And so uh, taking off the lids, um, you'll see here on the, on the top lid, there's just, uh, there's holes drilled all the way around it. Uh, they're about 16 inch and uh, just a couple dozen holes there. And then each of these, what we call floors, or you know, like the, the, each level is made up of two buckets. And so let me pull one of these out to show you what it, is, what it consists of. And so one bucket is used just as a sleeve, and this, what this does is allow there to be room for, their, uh, for the worms to be growing in here. And it also provides a really good air channel. So when this is sitting in here, uh, this whole area is a vent to allow air to go into the buckets. And then the bucket itself is where your worms are actually growing. Uh, again, there are several hundred holes drilled all the way around, small 16 inch holes. And hopefully you can see the holes there and that'll zoom in there for you and see them. And then uh, those are small enough that worms do not pass through. And that was the whole goal. On the side, you don't want worms going in and out. You just want there to be an exchange of air. On the bottom, 
is uh, larger holes. I believe these are around a quarter inch uh, size holes and there's lots of them. And these are designed so worms can pass up and down through the different floors. And so when I sell the system, typically it just has one floor. It just comes with one uh, bucket, um, a lid to, or a, a part of a bucket to raise it, and then the bottom bucket itself that it sits in. And then the, uh, let's try to do this the right way. And then of course the lid goes on it. The only other part of this kit is what I call the basement ladder. Um, and this basically is, it is the exact height where this bucket sits on top. And the purpose is uh, worms all the time, they will come out the bottom holes and they'll go down into the very bottom. And if they don't have a way to get back up inside of here, they will eventually die uh, in, the, in the water. So this just sits here in the middle. And again, it's uh, the right height. So that way they can go up and down. And so that's pretty much how these work. And again, there, it's the right amount of holes to provide a good air exchange so that this system stays completely aerobic. Uh, this one doesn't have our, our logo. Our, these ones have the logo. I just haven't put one on here yet. Um, but yeah, so that's how these work. And again, they're very, very um, affordable. And again, these can go right under your kitchen counter. Uh, I think that's really cool that you can be composting in your kitchen. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to walk out to your compost bin. And this is sort of your micro composter. Uh, you are not putting 100% of your greens in here. You're not putting all your vegetable scraps. You're just putting enough in here to keep the worms growing. And this is basically a, uh, you know, this vermicomposter works as just building fertilizer. Have your other composter, your big composter, to put all your, you know, your a ton of your uh, table scraps and your lawn cuttings and your leaves and all that into there. But this is sort of just a micro fertilizer farm just to build some really awesome fertilizer for your farm. Well, thanks again for checking out this video uh, on verm vermicomposting. Uh, I hope that these give you some sort of inspiration to either go build your own or go to visit our website and order one. Uh, if you want that information, the link's down below, or you can just go to www.mayfieldfamily.farm and then click on store and you can pick one up there and order it. And, uh, but here's the deal guys, ultimately, Vermicomposting is one of the most powerful fertilizers you can create uh, and that you can get for your farm. So I encourage you guys to test it out, put it into work, put it into practice and see what's going to happen in your farm. Uh, and so the next video we're going to be showing is going to be a video on how to build a 55 gallon barrel version of these much bigger. It's going to be more of a trough style where you're going to be moving your worms through it and getting tons of castings. Uh, and so we're going to show how to build one of those. We're going to be doing the video while we're building it so you're going to see the progress through it and again i hope these again provide some sort of inspiration for you uh, to go do your own but again thanks for uh, checking out our videos don't forget to like and subscribe visit our website visit us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash mayfield family farm thank you guys we'll see you soon